principal suite was inspired by the last Ralph Lauren collection called Desert Modern. In fact, that is the feeling. It feels modern, but also very warm. We ordered this Ralph Lauren bed through Elizabeth Interiors, had it upholstered in sand-colored linen. We only bought the shams because we wanted to layer them on top of linen sheets from Restoration Hardware and then add these velvet pillows from Halls Clooney, and I like the layering effect. The desk we found, which came from 1212, pale wood with leather handles. And once we had the Ralph Lauren banana leaf chair, we needed the perfect little lamp that would fit in the space with the angled ceiling, and we found it at HomeSense. Over the dresser is a piece of original art from Canadian artist Anne Shear. The drapes continue our idea of using stripes on the horizontal for more of a modern look. This is linen fabric from Kravit. Let's see the principal bathroom. Our principal ensuite bath is filled with luxuries, like these radiant heated floors from Flextherm. This is the same tumble travertine that you saw in the mudroom, this time laid in a random brick pattern. The vanity is custom made. It features stone counters, undercountered rectangular sinks, and these Axor wall-mounted faucets from Hensgrove. I've always wanted these faucets. What a luxury. We wanted these bone handles as the perfect touch for our custom vanity, and we got them from South Hill Home. A pair of mirrors, Wisconsin's on either side, two sinks, two storage areas for towels. This emphasizes the symmetry in the room, and that's important because across the way is this organic tub from Ginger's. Looks like a piece of sculpture in an otherwise very angular room. Notice the tub filler in polished chrome. It's Axor from Hands Growy. And these two little rooms on either side of the tub, one is the shower where we have clear glass, and the other is the water closet where we have frosted glass for privacy. Same beautiful stonework. Each year we try to include a kid's room with twin beds for sleepovers. This year our kid's room is really cool, mainly because of the color scheme. We wanted charcoal gray and mustard, which is a big color this year. The headboards were custom made for us by Elizabeth Interiors and then we scoured the city for charcoal gray sheets and accents in mustard and gray. We found these quilts at West Elm, aren't they wonderful? They're actually handmade and they include these hot colors that look so good on dark gray. The accent pillows we found at HomeSense and the two little tables and again standing lamps were inspired by the idea of live edge furniture which looks so great on these cool oak floors. Then we went in search of the perfect accents. First the trunks, and then the throws from West Elm, and then the rug. Can you believe we found this mustard and charcoal gray zigzag area rug at LT? Perfect for the room. Our architectural designer, Ray Murakami, had the idea of a balcony that overlooked the living room. So we ended up with this wonderful hallway, which became our home office. The light pours in, we didn't cover the windows. We put matching benches on either side of this desk, which is a favorite item this season from West Elm. Isn't it great? And this chair, part of their South Africa collection, with its string seat and this cool lamp. Let's see the principal guest room. I wanted the guest room to feel important but still casual. The color scheme came from the fabric on the drapes. It's from Bilboro, it's printed linen, and it combines mustard and cream. We found the wall color from Benjamin Moore called Knitted Cape, which is the same warm cream that's in the background of the fabric. And then we went about adding some drama with this bed. This is from Elizabeth Interiors. It's part of the Hickory Collection. It features a dark frame and light cream upholstery. And the bed is different pieces from different places that all came together to form what I think is a really great look. This is 100% cotton. It's printed and it comes from Luca a small store in Toronto. And then we married it with charcoal gray waffle bedspread and matching shams and found these accent pieces at Cocoon, which bring in the mustard and the cream that we find in the drapes. We kept the rest of the furniture light, the end tables and the dresser. And overhead, I think this iron chandelier really adds drama to the tall ceiling heights. I'd like you to see the ensuite bath because it's really special. The charcoal gray and cream color scheme continues with a double size shower a real slate floor, and a white and cream vanity from Restoration Hardware. The mirror is covered in the same woven matting that we found on the desk in the study.